I say the Latinos should do what the Irish and the Polish and the Italians did, become citizens and vote. There are more than 8.8 million immigrants who hold green cards and meet the residency requirements and are eligible to apply for citizenship today. From the floor of the United States House of Representatives, Illinois Congressman Luis Gutierrez urging his constituents to turn their green cards into votes against Donald Trump and Mr. Trump's comments concerning illegal immigrants. A new Judicial Watch report, meantime, shows that 260 incarcerated illegals were released by the DHS from the state I used to represent in Congress, Arizona, and Arizona prisons during a three-week period back in 2013. The Obama administration claimed these releases were because of expected budget cuts, but it led to the release of over 2,000 criminal illegals nationwide within that same three-week period. Let's call on one of our friends from Judicial Watch with more. Chris Farrell is the director of research and investigations there. He also serves as a board member at Judicial Watch, and he Skypes in from Washington. So, Chris, on one hand, you've got uh, Luis Gutierrez trying to blur the line between green card holders and citizens, and you have illegals who have been incarcerated for really illegal activity to which this administration is turning a blind eye. Just how bad is it? It's horrific. And, uh, you know, Mr. Gutierrez revels in the ambiguity. He hopes the American public is not paying attention and differentiating between those people who come here lawfully and then apply for citizenship and those that sneak across the border and then go on to do all sorts of other things. The problem we have with Mexican and Central American illegal immigration is not that they're, you know, Mexico is sending us all of their software engineers. That's not the problem. Uh, the problem is that you're sending a largely uh, either semi-literate or illiterate unskilled labor force into a 21st century economy. And uh, you've got people that engage in unlawful activity. The fact that they cross the border illegally is strike one, but they go on from there to do other things. And we know that not based on opinion or belief or speculation. We know that because we have United States government documents from the Obama administration that detail this in excruciating detail. That give us dates, times, places, offenses, how many are released. It's astounding. So there's this appeal to emotion and hyperbole and, you know, sort of this wishful thinking. And then there's the hard facts of criminal behavior and activity, and they, they can't get away from it. And the, the American public knows that. Chris, they as I understand it, it and uh, these numbers bear it out, as last year ICE released over 165,000 convicted criminal aliens nationwide. Yes. Why are yes. these people being released? Well, and why are people like Gutierrez getting up and you know, trying to make every person who comes here unlawfully some, you know, sad song story about, oh, gee, uh, you know, this person only wants to get a job. There are hundreds of thousands of cases documented where this is not the case, where there are criminals involved. And to ignore that is foolhardy. It is, it is willful blindness. And not only is it, is it a willful blindness, we're, we're doing it at the, at the risk or at the jeopardy of our own citizens. This is madness. And speaking of the madness, you know, the argument is often given of the noble migrant who just wants to feed his or her family. We can all understand that impulse, but Chris, given your knowledge of current law enforcement for American citizens, have you heard of a case anywhere in American jurisprudence where someone uh, knocks over a convenience store or robs a bank, quote, in order to feed their families, being granted a pardon from such conduct? It's insanity. These people operate, unfortunately, at a level that the ordinary citizen, you know, could only dream of. This, this get out of jail free mentality uh, where people are, are granted uh, waivers and releases that no ordinary citizen would ever be subject to. And again, Mr. Obama and his administration accelerating the release and encouraging more illegals to come. About 30 seconds remain.
And right now, everyone needs to understand that virtually no one is deported from this country. As we speak, there are no deportations. I mean, there may be a handful statistically, but the Obama administration has stopped enforcing our immigration law, period, full stop. Despite the efforts of a certain federal judge in Texas and the subsequent uh, Circuit Court of Appeals, we'll continue to keep an eye on it. Chris Farrell from Judicial Watch, you have our thanks. Now, you heard what Chris had to say. What do you have to say? Here's how you get in touch with us. You can use email or Facebook or Twitter, but perhaps the best way to get in touch with us is our website. And that is NewsmaxTV.com slash comments. We're coming right back.